Gambia is a small West African country bounded by Senegal with a narrow Atlantic coastline. It's known for its diverse ecosystems around the central Gambia River. It's the smallest country in mainland Africa, making it even smaller than Yorkshire. The capital, Banjul, and nearby Serekonda offer access to beaches. This is a marketplace in Banjul. Right now, we have, you can find a lot of uh, it's basically the construction type of uh, thing. People here uh, from Lebanon, India, they come here and do the trading of this building materials. Oh, okay, you can just see home street. Okay, just slow down. <laughs> see, these are all mostly has come from Rajasthan. Arch 22, a monumental gateway, a gateway uh, is an imposing arch. 22 stands as a grand welcome and a symbol of Banjul. Erected to commemorate the military coup of July 22, 1994, the arch represents a significant chapter in the Gambia's contemporary history. At 35 meters tall, it is one of the highest structures in Banjul and offers panoramic views of the city and surrounding areas from its top. Hello friends, I'm in this wonderful place called Banjul, the capital of Gambia. I love Banjul. You know, this is a, a small country, lovely people, and we have an arch here, you can just show slowly moving. It's a wonderful arch, this place is called 22. You know, what is called this place? At 22. At 22, the, everything, they function, they will enjoy this place. It is like a center of Banjul, the capital. Very nice place. Banjul, the capital city of Gambia is a small but fascinating metropolis nestled where the Gambia River meets the Atlantic Ocean. Gambia is predominantly a Muslim country. The country is also very tolerant of different religions with a small number of Christians residing there too. And then also you can see the backside full of this uh, port and a very beautiful and this is the road actually British and then Gambian road. Now it has become the Gambia has become an independent country and then people are enjoying. They're out of the clutches of British. Uh, this is the National Museum of uh, Gambia. Uh, they have a lot of heritage here. Look at the golden this one. And this is the National Museum of Manjal also have a church because of a few percentage of the population are Christians. This is the barge operating between the Bara and the Banjo for the daily commuters. This is the Grand Mosque in Banjo. It's quite big and very beautiful for the prayers. 
for the Muslim community. There is a sacred crocodile pool in Papua. Not do anything for you. The Kachikali crocodile scared. pool is home <laughs> to around 100 crocodiles yeah. of varying shapes and sizes. They are all well looked after and pose no danger to the tourists who pass through on a daily basis. No debt. Gambia. Yeah, from you see, see here, so all is crocodile. From okay. here. This can be a crocodile park, park and yeah. then we are in this park and then it's, it's so open. Yeah. We are at the fish market of uh, Banchul. Yeah, this the next day I am on a visit to the village, a poorest village of Gambia. It's a human crime. So many men was just fallen down. Nobody's taking it and nobody pressing it. Africa, you need support. We need support. Allah, oh my God. See, I needed some. But I made a lot of juice water in this. You got any any person to this place? Any any client has come here? No. I am the first guy. Yeah, you are the first guy to come here. Gambia is home to nine different tribes. The largest of these tribes is the Mandinka, along with the Fula and Wolof, all of whom live together harmoniously. Agriculture is a major source of income. Gambia's economy relies heavily on tourism, but the second biggest cash crop is And they are the highest exporter to the whole world. In fact, they make everybody happy and they, they live in poor condition. It's unfair. It's it's not safe. So um, some industries. 